Welcome to another MM Moments. Today we're going to be discussing <coughs> Warcraft video uh, filming and editing. <coughs> Just to give people some insights about the stuff I do. Because I've received about uh, three or four emails of people asking me, uh, hey, how do you process your in game footage? How do you do this and that? And um, it's not that uh, I'm uh, tired because I love answering emails, but um, I thought I'd just, uh, it would be better for me to explain it on video how I do it. So I'm not going to, it's going to be a, a vlog type, so I'm not going to really show you footage, the stuff being done. Because, uh, Frankly, that takes a lot of time, which I don't have. But I'll give you the basic ideas and pass on a few links so that you guys can understand how I do it. How do I make my uh, video game movies? So basically, I have uh, fraps, which you can get at, uh, from Beepa. If you just Google the word fraps, you can get it. And uh, I got the, the full version, I bought it. And uh, if you want to have the, the full functionality of the program, you have to buy it. And uh, basically, I can't remember how much it costs. I think it was 30 bucks or something. Anyway, um, you can buy fraps, or you can just, um, or you can just go somewhere and get another version or something. So anyway, I use Fraps to record on my PC, but that's soon going to change because um, I'm going to buy a Mac, Mac Pro. So anyway, you record in Fraps, after you record in Fraps, you get some freaking huge files because these are raw files, I mean, the, the data is being recorded as you are playing, so basically there's no compression. And these files are really, really, really big. And basically what I do is I use another program, which is uh, Video Dub. This is a very good program, you can Google it up. It's a free open source program, so you don't have to pay anything for it. <clears throat> and basically what I do with it is uh, I have a lot of codecs on my computer, so does everyone. Everyone has the VEX codec and a lot of other codecs, especially if you watch, um, you know, movies and all that kind of crap. So anyway, the video dub knows what kind of codecs you have on your computer. So the idea is basically you pick one codec which you think is good, for me, I use FFD Show, which is a very good codec. It compresses uh, like my huge files into much smaller files without almost losing any quality. And I mean, almost, okay, almost. Because I mean, let's face it, I'm not here making professional content or anything. I just want people to to be able to tell which is which. And, you know, it's not super professional HD, whatever. I'm sure that someone can come up with a better codec for you to use when you're using video dub. But basically, FF the show is what I use. I use it for amateur purposes, so it doesn't need like all that huge resolution or whatever. So, anyways, uh, I use the 
the straps to record and video them to compress. After you compress and video them, you should get some much smaller files, which you can then use to edit. Some people, I think, edit the raw files, and that's like, I don't know how good that can be, because for me it's really bad, because I don't have enough room in my Macintosh to edit like 50, 50 gigabytes of movie. It's, it's, I mean, I'm not going to put 50 gigabytes of movie in my Mac Pro. I mean, I don't have that much room. On. So anyways, I compress the files using video dub. After that, I pass everything onto my laptop, my MacBook Pro, which I'm shooting with it right now. And, uh, after I put everything on my MacBook Pro, I stick everything in iMovie, which to me is uh, an amazing tool. It's, I mean, I've used Adobe Premiere to edit, and it's really professional and all that stuff, but it's complicated as hell, you know? It's really, really complicated. So after I used the uh, iMovie, it was like, what the hell? It's so goddamn simple. I mean, I can do all the stuff I want to do with my videos on iMovie. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's a really amazing piece of software. So after I put it on iMovie, it's basic editing. I mean, everyone knows. Not everyone certainly knows. It's a timeline. People who edit videos should know what's a timeline. So basically, I it has timelines, it has uh, sound. You edit on it. Pretty simple. That's how I do my videos. So till next time.